Right, so what we've got here is the Sealy um, compact impact gun, 12 volt impact wrench, 3 8 square drive, uh, model CP1204. So this tool uh, goes with the other Sealy um, tool that I've reviewed. So if you have a look at my past videos, you'll see that I reviewed a, um, a normal ratchet. Um, electric cordless ratchet which uh, is obviously equivalent to say an air ratchet set run by a battery so it uses the same battery which is the Sealy 12 volt battery so all of these batteries are um, compatible with the tool that I've already brought so there's no mucking about having to buy more batteries I don't know if you can see that uh, max torque 80 newton meters 58 foot pounds this tool is not designed to undo uh, really awkward nuts and bolts but it's ideal for removing say 10 mil bolts um, or 10 mil headed bolts on say bodywork uh, valve covers anything that um, is normally quite time consuming using the ratchet this is going to save you time now I paid £50 for this tool um, from Amazon, so originally I paid £100 for the cordless ratchet which came with two batteries, a charger and the tool itself and this is an additional £50 and it comes with um, just the bare body, the bare money. So you've got direction adjustment here which is that little button there, so reverse, forward, easy selected. Um, you've got a battery indicator there. I just light it up. This is on two at the moment, and you've got a very handy LED um, light on the front for illuminating what you're doing. And another plus point to this tool is that it's also speed adjustable. So if I, if I pull the trigger down, you'll see the different speeds. So, like I said, um, 80 millimetres, it's not going to be able to undo wheel nuts, uh, not unless they're loose, and then you've got bigger problems to worry about. It's mainly for the smaller things. I think this will come in useful when, say, you're reassembling something where you've got nylocks that you've decided to use. Obviously, nylocks can be a bit of a pain to tighten up. You can put a spanner on the nylon nut and then you can use this to wind the bolt in. It's going to save you time. Um, awkward, awkward position, say you're doing uh, maybe sump, sump bolts, you could use this just to whiz the bolts back up quickly. Because this will actually do it a lot quicker than the uh, ratchet which I reviewed earlier. If you look at the no load speed, it says uh, 2,500 RPM, so you'll really be able to fly those uh, bolts back in. Obviously, there's always a risk you might cross thread it if you're, not, uh, if you're not going carefully to start with. And it will do 3,500 um, impacts per uh, minute. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make a small rig jig, I suppose, of a bolt clamped in a vise with um, some nuts locked against each other and I'll do those up as tight, as tight as I can by hand then we'll use this tool to undo them. Obviously the main thing about tools like this is that you've got that shock factor of the impact and that is always going to help you get a bolt undone or nut undone because generally shock is a lot better than you hanging off of a breaker bar or ratchet you need to shock it to get the actual thing to break loose and then once it's loose the rest of it's easy to undo. So what we'll do is we'll give it a quick test and uh, you can get an idea of what the tool's like. So what we've got here is a bolt clamped into the vise and what I'm going to do is wind a nut on Get another nut. This is a uh, 13 mil, by the way. Do it that way. Just going 
get the tool to do the nut up against this other one that I'm holding with the spanner. butchering actually it could end up snapping the bolt but I'll give it a go. Right, so that's tight. Right so if you used to measure that on the torque wrench I'd imagine that's quite high. So if I put the tool on hold the nut and then use the impact gun you see there we go done it. And obviously that's not really a scientific test. Ideally what I should use is a torque wrench and right, wind the bolt into say 100 newton meters. But all it's to do is to prove that this will undo uh, stubborn bolts uh, and it undoes them well to be honest. I think maybe the 18 newton meters is a bit, um, a bit under, under what it actually do. I'm not sure to be honest, but um, it's uh, it's very good. So, would I buy this? I would probably buy this rather than the it, the uh, ratchet I brought I reviewed earlier, just because I think this is going to be used more often. Uh, obviously, the ratchet is good in awkward places, but because of the size of this, you're going to be able to get this in very small spaces. Um, and say a space where you can't get the ratchet to turn much because of because of clearance. Um, if you can get this on, the impact part of it is going to do the job for you. So it's definitely going to come in handy for myself. In terms of build quality, uh, Sealy have got a pretty good warranty. Um, I bought this off Amazon, so you're obviously protected by them as well. It's plastic, so it's not it's not going to survive probably a drop on the floor. It might do, but I'd imagine it'll leave a mark on the case. But uh, in terms of the actual impact mechanism and all that, I can't see any reason to suspect it's going to fail. So I definitely recommend it. Um, like I said, the body was 50 quid on Amazon. Uh, the other tool, the cordless ratchet, was 100 pounds with two batteries. So I would get the two of them together, 150 quid. You've got um, two very good tools and then a 3 8 drive socket set. And you've got two great tools that you can use for working on cars or any mechanical stuff. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Make sure you like and subscribe for more.